what up the amazing people how's it going this is Barthi. welcome back to another video on flutter in three minute widget series so as we shall i'm back with another video on the flutter in three minute widget series we're going to be discussing about the animated switcher widget what is it used for how are you going to even use it coming right up in under three minutes let's get this thing started all right so we have a simple very simple stateful widget app here so what is it going to do is that we're going to be discussing about uh we have already done a lot of videos on stateful widgets so i'm going to be creating a very simple uh counter application so i i, I hope you guys know what a counter is it's going to just have a simple count here called a zero and you're going to be incrementing this counter every time the user clicks a button so what we're going to try with the animated switcher widget is that it's going to give us a simple animation between the widget transitions for example there's a widget a and there's a widget b and you want to switch between these one and two widget so how are they going to do that we're going to be discussing about how if the animated widget will be helping us with a simple transition or the transition animation with uh, which is only very very simple so how are you going to do that is i will already create a scaffold here i will have an app bar i also initialize the simple count variable called as count uh, it should be a single underscore let's have it like this our count itself so let's get into the body of the scaffold widget we're going to be creating a simple ca container here so how it's going to look like is like uh, we're going to have a simple container let's uh, no, no, let's go for a column widget here so that we have multiple children so the children is going to be like this and the first uh, widget we're going to be discussing is the animated switcher so that this widget is going to do a lot of things for us the first thing is going to be the most important as well is the transition builder so the, what the transition builder is going to do is the simple builder function which will take the widget itself and the type of animation that we want the widget to have so for example let's give the simple uh, widget it's called a child in the animation of uh, double yeah, let's call this animation so this is going to be the build of widget transition build of widget so transition builder will return the simple transition animation that we want to give this is going to be for us the scale transition we have a lot of different transition we could have a linear transition we could even have our own custom transition as well but we're going to be not discussing about that in this video because like i told you it's a very simple widget if you know the dynamics of the animation itself so we just have the animation as a child this should be a small c so this is it so the transition is given we are also going to be uh, working towards the next widget which is nothing but our child widget itself so what the child widget as part of the animated switcher is going to do is it's going to take a simple let's give it a simple text widget the text widget will be now handling the count itself so it sh can be done this way it will automatically reference the count we have from here why is it showing this here? all right so the count is given and the next important most important part about the animated switcher is that every single widget should have a different key so only when you have the different key for the widget what is going to happen is that it's going to consider it to be a different widget itself only with a different key the transition is also going to happen so all you have to do is just give a simple key here but how are you going to give a, give a unique key for every single count that's very simple we're going to use the value key uh, which is actually an inbuilt available inbuilt uh, double variable it's it's a simple uh, which is a simple variable it's going to have a class it's going to have all the uh, count that we're going to be using so we'll just give it here which is that it's not present i think i gave it here which is which means no this does not have any meaning so give it here and it's automatically picking up and now the value key we have simply given a key we can give a style if you want to let's give a simple style as well to this let's uh do a simple text style of simple text style here font size in case of font size to 40 and uh, the next is going to be uh we can give a font weight if you want to font weight dot bold or something like that if you don't have anything it's just leave it no problem and the next now the transition another important uh, attribute of trans animated switcher is going to be the duration which which is very very important because we need to have a simple duration for the transition to happen the another important key thing in animated switcher is that if the du if the transition between the say a widget a to widget b is going to be less than the duration that you have given the animation is not going to be shown only if the greater than the widget duration that you have given only then the animation is going to be shown so what exactly that i'm i'm i'm, going, I'm talking about so are you going to do is just give a simple duration we call a duration here and just give a constant duration so just do a const of uh, duration uh, and then you call a milliseconds here 500 milliseconds less than a second so it's it we can see the duration change happening 
and that is the one the final is uh, how are you going to change the count variable that's why we give a column so all you do is just put a comma here and write a, write a simple flat button and the flat button is automatically calling going to have a simple text saying click here so click here is going to be the this one and we'll have on press and we will fire the set state every time this happens so on press is going to call a set state and we'll do a count is equal to count plus one awesome so what we have done is you completed the entire example application so we'll just run it i was the already running so i'll do a hot reload on this so this is what we have so it's a very, very small i want to give it a little bit bigger i'll give a simple style here as well okay now it's a little bit bigger so what i'm going to do is click here did you see that you can you see the transition it's really smooth and this is possible to give from say for example as a widget with an image widget and there's another, another image widget we can still do this simple scale transition and there are a lot of other transitions as well that you can still play around with for example if you type transitions we have a line transition we also have a fade transition this is just examples of scale transitions what we've been using you can play around with any number of transitions that you want to and that's it for the animated switcher widget very very useful very very important as well you can play around with that widget and uh, flutter is going to be highly dependent on animation and everything of that sort so that's it for the three minutes i hope i didn't take too much of your time let me meet in the next video until then it's Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day